What's up guys, Bionic Combiner is back again with another mock review of another Bionicle com mock that can combine. This one is of the main... Wait, no secrets. No secrets on what... Because what? All I can tell you is, he's a combiner. He's one of the combiners. That is repping Bionicle Combiners. Um, Piranha. I guess you could say he's the next generation of Six Flash, cause he's tall, extremely tall. Um, basic. This one, I'm gonna show off posability, and then I'm gonna show him off with a, a couple of other guys that would probably be the exact same size as him. So yeah, let's get to the posability. Uh, he's basically got. Wide movement in the head. Wide movement in the shoulders, but you kind of can't go any further up than that because of the shoulder armor. Uh, weird movement in his elbow, but he does have the bicep bend. Uh, full movement in the wrist. It's a lot of movement in the up in the hip, bend of the elbow or the knee, and full movement at the foot or the ankle, whatever. Whoa! Don't fall. That's a pro That's one of the problems. Like, like whenever I go to shoot a video, of these guys they just don't want to stand up. Um, yeah, if you didn't already tell, I kind of made him bird-footed. But, you know, I really don't care. He, At least he's tall. If he's tall, that's all that matters. Because I wanted to make a guy that was tall. Okay, now, the next section is weapons. And this one, you're actually going to like, um, Mantis had the weird thing where it would flip around for like standard mode and then it would flip around and come like it would hide on the back of his arm in standard mode swing around and stick out in attack mode that's what Mantis had and Hydroclaw 2.0 she, he had the saw blades, the spear, and the shield that would become a hoverboard him on the other hand, he's got these Twin Samurai Swords. And he... Actually, and with him, you actually get options with how you can use these. And here's one of the options. He can either hold them... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do each of the options with each sword. One of the options is with the slightest bend of the wrist they slide in and bada bing bada boom you got a samurai sword a pretty dang big one or I guess you could say that's a machete or whatever twin machetes whatever yeah he can hold one in his, he can hold them in his hand or just due to the way he's made you can actually come over here and plug it onto his waist. Just like that. Either like that, or you can actually bring this one up a little higher and plug it in right there. But of course, it's kind of like sticking all the way out like that. That's basically the piece that my friend put in because he was doing this he was helping me with the design it's uh, pretty much a fail it's pretty much a fail as of now but you know i actually like the way it looks when it's actually plugged in right here because it's actually sitting where you would actually expect it to sit
Now, um, quick on size comparisons. Again, bio on um, what he's like is going to be down there. Here's Mantis. See what I'm talking about? They stick straight out in attack mode. If you didn't see the video already with him, uh, yeah. These two are both combiners. They both will be combining with each other, but I'm not going to show you how it's going to be how it's done. At least not yet. So yeah, he's done. Um, all around really tall. Um, he's definitely not taller than six slash. I can guarantee you that one right now. He's not taller than six slash. Six slash, I would say he was almost like compared to a ruler, he was almost as tall as a ruler. He's not as tall as that. But yeah, let's get him in with one last thing, or maybe a couple last things. I have no idea. Uh. Here is Piranha, and here is Omega Prime. You can see that Omega Prime is taller and bulkier and all that, but he's, you know, he's not a Bionicle, so technically he doesn't count. And just for the heck of it, since I look, since these are my two favorite combiners, that was Omega Prime. Here is Jet Prime. They're both almost the exact same size. Whoa. Alright, come on, big guy. Alright, that's it. Uh. If you really, if you really do like the way these guys look, then you know, I can't do a uh, picture and tutorials on how to build these guys. But if you want to make one of one of these guys of your own, or any version of Six Slash of your own, or like any Dragon Slash of your own. Then you know, be my guest. Go, go for it. I want to see if the the real test is. I want to see if anybody can recreate Dragon Slash better than I do. So yeah, and there he is with both the swords on his hips. Biomock. That's what I'm gonna say for now on. Biomock. Piranha.